Okay, so thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use AI to create accompanying featured images or images I can use on service pages. So for example, this is my company, Norzer, and we offer these services. If I do, you know, WordPress website performance, and I need an image for it, how did I create this image? So you can use stock photography or stock photos, um, but it's not something I like to do for various reasons. So I actually use AI. So how do you do, how do, you do it? First of all, if you have the text of the service page, just copy it all. But let's say you don't even have that. What you can do is go to my outline content, um, outline, let me click here. It's my uh, outline and content creator for service pages. It's a GPT. Basically, it'll create the a landing, it'll give you all the all the um, more advanced SEO information for whatever the service page is, whether it's like Emergency Plumber Boston, Invisalign Specialist Chicago. So I already have it done here. You can see here it gives you, so this is for web designer, Houston, Texas. It'll give you a good framework to work with. So if you want to build it out on your own from that framework, you can. But other than that, it gives you actual, you know, SEO optimized titles, meta descriptions, top 20 keywords, entities, H1s, H2s, et cetera, et cetera. And then you let it keep going. And once, if it stops, you type keep going. And then at the end, it's going to say, if you want me to use all of this to build landing page, the, the text, the service page copy or text, I can do that. So this is what it built based on the keyword Houston. I think it was web page designer, Houston, Texas. So once you have the text, you just come and grab it. So of course you'd want to modify this. So it's specific to your business, right? But this is going to give us all the keywords, design, development, planning, wireframes, initial consultation, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to pause it real quick. Okay, so now we have the text for the landing page. So we copied it all. Next thing you need to do, and by the way, if you're liking this content, hit, hit the like button, subscribe, all that fun and good stuff. So next thing you do is go to Discord. Now you could use the mid journey web interface if you wanted to. I started using the discord when it came out, I don't know, a year ago or so. And I still do, do, do whatever you want. So, oh, no, we're not at that step yet. So the next thing you need to do now that you have this copied is go to chat GPT and say, give me five mid journey prompts I can use to create an image that will go with this service page. Then you copy in the text that you have for the service page. And sometimes it messes up and it actually creates an image like it's doing now. So when it gets done, say, no, I actually want the prompts, not an image. And you could use that image if you wanted to, but there's a reason I use Midjourney, which I'll show you towards the end, which, which I'll show you in this video. And also I like to get multiple prompts because sometimes I'll do this and I don't like it. So I'll move to the next one. Normally within the first two, I can get an image I want. Sometimes I, I would say maybe 10, 15% of the time I have to go to third, fourth or fifth, but let's kind of re look at it and just kind of eyeball and see which one might think it'll be the best. A modern web design student, in Houston, Texas. Okay. This actually looks pretty good. So then we go to mid journey and we do imagine which is the default command or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to get our images back. So let's see if we like it. Now, normally what I do too is this. Yeah, that's kind of, it's okay. It's not, it's not, it's actually not, I don't really like those that much. Maybe the first one, I don't like the ones with the people because they tend to look too cartoonish. But if you do AR 16.9, and version 6.1 sometimes it's the ar is just aspect resolution so that's just going to change the dimensions of the image but v61 is going to make it's going to use um a newer version of i guess the mid journey uh what do you want to call it not algorithm but um i can't think of the right word but the, a, a newer version so it's going to create something that's um hopefully a little bit better so these are actually pretty good because they're not trying to be real um but I think I like this third one the best, right? So if you wanted a third one, then you just upsize three. 
right? Or if you kind of like the third one, but not exactly, you can do make variations of three. Now let me show you something else, though, after this gets done. See, at zero percent. So if you want to join a Discord group where there's a lot of people talking SEO, digital marketing, etc., look below in the description. There's a link to my Discord channel. Um, it's totally free, and there's just people that are talking about all kinds of stuff. So you can see here it's similar, but they're all a little bit different. So let's say we like this one. However, if we go to the client page, So if you need help with any local SEO, WordPress design, hosting, et cetera, head over to Norzer.me, we can help you out. But let's go to, let's actually go to e-commerce SEO service. Let's say their images and look and feel their website already kind of have a vibe to them. So you can take this image, open a new tab, copy the URL, and you can say generate Imagine, let's paste in the original prompt, and now you can do sref, whoops, which honestly I don't know what it stands for, something reference, and if you want to do the version, version, version 6.1, aspect resolution, whatever, but it doesn't matter for this example. So it's going to create this image, but it's going to use this image. I get oh, a style reference. I guess that's what it is, as a style reference. So let's look and see how it, so let's look at the image we're basing it on. See, it's kind of like the matrix, kind of computer hackery, kind of, um, I don't know, more modern kind of cyberpunk. And you can see here, it created it, but it gave it that same look and feel. So of these, I probably would do number four. So let's upscale number four. And if you want to learn how to use that, this GPT that I showed you here, this, just go to my, go to my, um, I have videos on my YouTube channel here, or just go to my website, go to norzer.me, then go to resources, outline, and content builder GPT. And that same video is right here. You can watch it here. It's pretty self-explanatory, but a lot of people don't know to type continue or know they can actually build the content at the end. So going back to this, you can see, so this has the same look and feel as this. So then you take it, convert it to WebP, uh, give it a good SEO optimized image name and alt text, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you like this. If you do hit the like button, uh, subscribe, all that fun stuff, join the Discord channel, and if you need any help with anything, let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And a comment is appreciated. So hope that helped and see you soon.